everybody doing today? How are all my lovelies doing? Excuse the mess that's going on here in my table. I just got done doing a collab video on making a birthday cake because my birthday is next week. And I will be uh, 36. Are you kidding me right now? Today, I have nothing to report to you. I'm still at a freaking stall. What the even heck? I don't get it. Okay, yes, I do get it. I have added more carbs than I should be eating to my diet. All my fault why I'm not doing uh, losing weight. So what my plan is this week is to go back on the half liquid diet, just pretty much protein diet. So every other day I will do a day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will do a, or actually because today's Thursday, so I'll start Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, and I'll just start tomorrow. I'm going to do liquid and protein bar diet. So I have my juice. I make fresh juice from, um, I juice all the fruits and veggies together. So I'm doing juicing and this actually fills me up. And then um, I'm going to be doing my protein shakes and then my protein bars and just do that all day for every other day. Cause you don't want to do it every day. It's very unhealthy for you to do that as a lifestyle. This is just to kick my stall. As of this morning, I am at 144 and 145. All week I've been at 145 to 148, depending on the time or day. And it's that time of month for me, so obviously I'm not losing weight. So, uh, that's unfortunate. We all stall, guys. I'm not, I'm not really discouraged about it or anything. I, I, just, I know that every one of us stall and it happens. And, and, and usually I do like a three week stall. This is how I am. And then all of a sudden I just drop the weight. So I, by next week I'm expecting to be at least three pounds down, especially when I do the every other day. I call it the sleeve reset. That's what I call it. It's called the sleeve reset. I went to my clothes closet to find some green and I couldn't find any green. So we're black today and a Christmas mug. There's green on the cup. At least I'm festive. Oh yeah, the, my son just said there's green on the cup. That works, can't pinch me now. For all my new followers out there, hello! Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Uh, my journey, my highest weight, I was 245, and that's why I was pregnant with my firstborn. So I had my surgery July 2nd of 2015, and it's been eight months since my surgery. Excuse me, I started at 220 with this journey. I had my surgery uh, for pre-op diet. I lost 12 pounds, so I was down to 208. I, lost, I got to 199 the first month. I think it was the first month. I can't remember. I have to look at my stat book because I have a stat book that I keep record of. Um, and today, I have lost over 75 pounds. What? That is crazy. That is freaking crazy, 75 pounds. To me, that's a lot of weight. I still have, you guys, look, I still have all this junk going on here, as we all do, because you lose. Yeah, that's what happens when you lose too much weight. Sorry, my camera got hot, so I had to stop it for a second. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, um, I, I honestly don't know what to talk about. I'm thinking of having you guys be a little bit more involved. So, how about you? Ask me a question, and if I haven't answered it already, I will ask. Uh, answer your question, not necessarily like a Q&A, but maybe something that you want me to talk about in my experience, how I've done it, or how I think about it in my opinion. And it's up to you. Um, today, really, we're gonna talk about exposing yourself to the public with your weight loss surgery or not. Should you? Should you tell everybody or should you not? Now listen. I find it in my position, in my ordeal, that I have a lot of supporters. I found out just being open. And a lot of people that I don't know strangers, I don't necessarily say right off the bat that I've had weight loss surgery because of the pre-assumption that it's the easy way out. Um, I just don't want that kind of judgment. But however, for people I do know, I have this thing called integrity, <laughs> and I tell the truth a lot, <laughs> especially to people I don't know. I mean, especially to people I do know. So 
when they ask, oh, how'd you lose the weight so fast? I'll say, well, I got the sleeve done. It's like, and then I completely, totally justify myself right out of the blue. And I think that's a problem for me is that, you know, when I, when I go and say, oh, I had the weight loss surgery done, you know, and then I automatically go, you know, it's not the easy way out. And it's, it's like an automatic saying for me because I want that instilled in people's head, I guess. I guess I want, I just want people to know that weight loss surgery is just another route. It's not the easy way out. Yeah, we lose weight faster, but going under the knife, uh, getting yourself cut up and your stomach removed, and then learning how to be forced to eat healthy, and then living this lifestyle, it is not easy. Number one, you gotta work on your mentality. The mentality thing is extremely hard, you know, because we tend to, like I was telling you either earlier, I stress eat. I eat for socialization. I eat a lot more when I'm socializing, I notice. And, you know, I, I love food. So it was all in the mind. And once I got the surgery, I literally had to work on my mind. It was probably one of the hardest things I've had to do by far. The learning how to eat and stuff, that was easier. But however, my opinion, and I encourage you to, you don't have to. If you don't feel like you don't want to, then don't. Don't, by all means, don't. I encourage to tell people you know, unless you know that they're gonna make fun of you or judge you and hurt you and hurt your feelings. And I've realized by opening up, let's just say coming out of the closet, by opening up to most people, I have had some of the most amazing support. It's been crazy. Every once in a while, I'll get people like, why, you didn't need it? and Or, um, Oh, you weren't that fat. Why'd you need weight loss surgery? Um, I was unhealthy and I could not do it on my own. There are people out there um, who just cannot lose weight on their own. And then there are people out there that can lose weight on their own and I commend them. Good for you for losing weight on your own. That's just not what this is about for us. For us who've had weight loss surgery, we could not do it on our own, especially in my lifestyle. I had no time at all to work on my health. I had to get myself healthy quick because I had to take care of my child. There I go justifying my situation. I don't need to justify why I had surgery. I can go on forever about justifying it, but I won't, I won't, I won't. In my case, it's been pretty good and I've gotten a lot of support from a lot of people who were just, I always, Melody, you look so amazing. We're so proud of you. Good job, you know, even after knowing I have weight loss surgery. So it's been an amazing um, eight months for me for, for the support from people beyond the weight loss surgery uh, groups and you guys that I know. And like I said, you don't have to, but you know, cause if you feel like somebody's going to make fun of you or hurt your feelings or, totally disregard you as a person just because you had weight loss surgery, then don't say anything at all. You do not have to be obligated to tell anybody about weight loss surgery. I just like the support. I really like the support. And so I automatically say to my friends and family, yeah, I had weight loss surgery. I had the uh, gastric sleeve. And then I explain what it is. It's just a tool to help me learn how to live a healthier lifestyle and eat smaller portions. And that's why we lose weight is because of the smaller portions. I'm able to eat anything now, which is unfortunate. I can eat, if I wanted to, I can eat bread, I can eat rice, I can eat sugars, and my stomach is no longer reacting to that stuff. And it's very unfortunate because I really like the fact that I was scared of the dumping syndrome and it, and it kept me away from that stuff. But the more that I go out in my journey, the further out I go, I realize, oh my gosh, I had a drink of soda and it didn't mess me up. Oh my gosh, I had some sugar and it didn't mess me up. It scares the poo poo out of me. You have no idea how much this scares me because obviously if I start introducing that stuff again, I can get out of control again and I don't want that. So I purposely avoid breads. I'm scared of bread stretching my stomach out and hurting my stomach. I purposely avoid uh, eating floury products, uh, rice and um, uh, 
um, pastas. I don't eat pastas either. It's too heavy of a food for my stomach in the first place. It's too heavy and I get too full quickly. So if I eat pastas and breads and not intake any protein, I'm reversing what I have just worked hard for. So don't, I advise, I'm not a medic, I'm not your doctor and I'm not a medical person, but I advise if you're going to be on this journey, eat the least possible of breads, uh, sugars, low carbs, not, you don't need, you need your body, listen, your body needs carbs. Don't go no carbs all the way. Your body craves carbs. It is unhealthy to go full no carbs. Just, you just can't. Your body craves carbs. That's part of the balanced diet. And then, um, and no rice. I don't eat rice. Those things will help you get down further, faster if you want to do that, and your body stays healthy. Listen, there are so many chemicals in bread, I don't even think people realize how much chemicals are in bread that causes your body to react in a negative way, and that's why a lot of people have a negative reaction. It's not that, that you're allergic to gluten, you're allergic to the chemicals that are in the gluten. And um, I noticed that when I ate a piece of bread, I felt sick, and so I'm not gonna eat that anymore, but as far as sugar goes, I can eat sugar and that's unfortunate. Anyway guys, this video is going on way too long. Um, if you guys have anything you want me to talk about, leave a suggestion down below. I'll write it down the list and have something to talk about every week. I am doing juicing like I said before. I am doing like strawberries and kale and spinach and carrots and apples and all the fruit together. Just been an amazing. If you want to do a reset, do juicing. Do and if you want to get past that stall and we'll see if I can prove my theory right. If you wanna get past this stall, do juicing and protein shakes and protein bars all day, every other day, and reset your body and see if you can get past that stall. I love you guys so, so much. Have a wonderful, happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> we'll see you later. Love you. Ciao. Mm, that's good. <laughs>